Welcome to NCIX Food Tips. Today we're going to be covering the almond. Now I'm just trolling you guys. We're talking tech today, but we're talking the router that is called Almond from Securify. So what this is, it's, it is the world's first touchscreen controlled router and range extender. It actually has both functionalities. It's a little tiny little thing. So it's only got one WAN port at the back with two 1000 LAN ports. Although if you wanted to run more wired connections off of it, you can always get like a gigabit switch or something along those lines to run off the back. All, you, all the only other things you see on it are a reset switch and a power in. It comes with a little stylus for controlling the touchscreen, although you probably won't need it because I didn't have any trouble using it with my somewhat fast fingers. The rest of the unit is pretty bog standard. You got ventilation holes on the bottom and the top, you got a Securify logo on the back, and on the front you have the pièce de la résistance, the touch screen that can be used to control pretty much all of the functionality, whether you're into internet routing or you're into range extending. We're going to be focused on the range extender aspect of it due to the fact that in the Tech Tip Studio, our internet connection is bound to the MAC address of the router we're using now, so we don't have that option. Now for the technology inside, it's not using the fastest, so it's using wireless and 300 megabit per second. So there's better stuff out there, but there's also worse stuff out there. And it's certainly more than enough if you're just trying to extend your wireless network into another area of your house, or you just need a basic wireless router that, you know, you don't need a ton of wired connections. You just need a little bit of a wireless hotspot in an apartment or condo or whatever else the case may be. You want something as simple and small. So I don't think it's much of a compromise when you factor in the ease of use and also just the general sort of attractiveness. It's all good. Now everything that you can do on the Almond's touchscreen, you can also do through a web UI. So don't worry, if you want to use it normally, you can. But what's great about the touchscreen is if you're a technophile, you might not buy one of these for yourself, but you might buy one for your mom or your grandma because you want something that's simple enough that they can do it. So Everything is wizard based and all the setup is extremely simple whether you're setting up security Just go back touchscreen interface looks kind of like the metro UI whether you're setting up wireless You can change things like your SSID your password all that other good stuff setting up your internet connection It's just a quick wizard and it gives you things like that your cable is disconnected So it spits out the exactly the error messages that are relevant Through the more you can add devices you can web admin you can What's that? Oh yeah, you can see status, which obviously is nothing right now. And it's pretty snappy, which is kind of cool actually. You can change things like the screen timeout. They're going to be adding things in future firmware updates, such as a photo viewer. So if this is going to sit on the desk near your computer, then it can just have, you know, little photos cycling on it, which is kind of neat. Firmware upgrade is easy as pie. Just check for updates. There you go. And oh yeah, obviously that wouldn't work if I'm not connected, which I'm not right now. You can see user statistics, receive packets, transmitted packets, and that's pretty much it. So we're going to be walking you guys through the range extender setup. So here's our tech tips uh, wireless access point. We have uh, secure, okay, the name of the, oh, here we go. So tech tips, we're going to enter our password, which is pretty straightforward. It's Oh, sorry, I'm typing upside down, so this is very, very challenging right now. Since I hope no one's planning to uh, hijack our wireless, I guess you guys can just see the password. Tech tips, and then we can enter numbers. 888. Done. Okay. And we're going to enable. Saving settings. Finding tech tips. Oh yeah, there's a lot of Wi-Fi connect wi 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 connections around here. So it's a miracle when anything wireless works at all. So let's see how it goes. It might take a minute finding tech tips. There we go. Waiting for the IP. And is it really done already? Now, important tip. 
Whenever you're using a range extender, whether it's this one or some other one, is placement. You don't place a range extender right at the very edge of your wireless reception. You place it well within where you have a decent signal, but you're still a little bit further away from your wireless access point or your wireless router so that you are extending that range a little bit beyond. You don't get to just like put it right at the edge and then effectively double your range. It doesn't work that way. So there you go. That's how easy it was for us to set it up as a range extender, done. The router part, we actually tried it before, it was equally simple. So very cool little product. Thank you for checking out today's episode on the, wow, I'm having trouble today. The Securify Almond, and as you can see now, it's coming soon, so you'll have to wait for it, but I have one and it's very cool, so yeah. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.